all, it's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady here, and I'm here to tell you today that you need a lint box in your attic as a Catholic mother. Just like you have Christmas boxes in your attic, just like you have Easter boxes in your attic, you need a lint box. And we're going to go up to my attic right now and get mine, and I'm going to show you what's inside. Ready? Let's go. So my attic access is actually like through the girls room and this ridiculous closet here all right welcome to the catholic icing ladies attic with more stuff than i remembered was up here okay my christmas boxes seem to have failed to be labeled but as you can see um i've got some christmas there and then easter here and lint is in a totally separate box from easter like they're two different boxes okay let's just go ahead and get this bad boy out of here okay we are getting ready to unbox my lint stuff let's see what we find okay so now I've kind of unpacked my lint box onto the floor to just be able to show you everything like at one time so here we have the almsgiving boxes from the kids the little crown of thorn wreath my extra purple plate our crown of thorns with the toothpicks for sacrifices. This is the resurrection eggs, the stations of the cross box, and then the stations of the cross eggs, which I only use the stations of the cross eggs now, but I have trouble getting rid of the old things. My little set of stations of the cross, which I just set out three to give you an idea. My pray fast give words, which do stand up, but need some repairing because I didn't wrap them well enough this year. Then I've got my purple cloths that I use to put down like on the tables and things. And then this is my little strip with my purple and my red to display on my wooden cross, which is usually plain and I can switch the liturgical colors out. For the Stations of the Cross eggs are my absolute favorite. And if you open it up, there's a symbol for each Station of the Cross for kids inside of each egg here. And I'm actually gonna make a separate video to go more into depth into those. So these are our almsgiving boxes, and originally I just had the one that I decorated for our whole family to use together. And then one year I had the kids make their own individual boxes that they decorated themselves. And now again, we could just pull them out and use the same ones year after year. Also years ago, I had gotten this clear plastic plate from like the Dollar Tree, several of them, and spray painted the back of it purple. So I had these purple trays to pull out to use for lint. I found my extra toothpicks here that have been painted brown to match my wreath. So every year I just take this out of this giant bag here and display it and we put the toothpicks inside of there and the kids can pull them out when they make sacrifices and just drop them on the plate. And this plate's got a nice little rim around the edge so it keeps the toothpicks contained for me. So I have this plain wooden cross that I keep out all year but in my lint box, I had this piece of purple that I'll drape on it um, for lint and this little thing for the crown of thorns. And then like for Palm Sunday, I switch it out to be red. You know, you drape it around the cross, whatever. And so I just keep those two pieces in my lint box every year so I don't have to go hunting for new purple and red things each year. So what I hope you're taking away from this is every year it doesn't take the same energy to live the liturgical year at home with your kids. You are building a library. So one year you make Stations of the Cross eggs. Another year you make a crown of thorns. Another year you spray paint your extra plates purple or you make cloths to change out on your crosses or you make almsgiving boxes. But then each year after that your box grows and grows and when you pull it out of the attic it's not any more work to use it. The kids are excited to see it, and it makes each year easier on you as a mother. At the beginning of Lent, I'll also just go through my bookshelf and grab my really handy favorite prayer books and things and display them on a table where they're easier to use and find. We also have your typical Catholic family basket full of various rosaries and things, and I will usually also bring this out to a more prominent place in our house where the rosary is more accessible during Lent. Hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, walk the narrow path.